One of the questions that I get asked a lot is, how do you develop your own color film? Um, I think the myth behind that is that it's very, very, very difficult um, to do your own film and that you need some kind of expensive apparatus. That just isn't the case. What I use is one of these. These are uh, home development C41 kits. They come under a variety of different names, but the one that I'm using is from a film photography project. And it's only about, uh, I think I got it for 20 bucks. Um, so I'm gonna show you today some of the ins and outs of the kit and how to use it to develop your own color film at home. So as far as the kit itself goes, there really isn't much to it. First off, most important thing, instructions. Notice there are only two pages. Not too bad. Next is your developer. Blix A, Blix B, and stabilizer. Now, the developer, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. This is gonna be the first chemical that you use in the process. Blix A and Blix B, you mix them together to create your bleach slash fixer, which is where the name Blix comes from. Um, first, you're gonna mix your Blix A, then you're gonna mix your Blix B, and you mix them together. Stabilizer you use at the end of the process and what that does is it makes sure that your image once the image is there uh, Stays put it's gonna be a stable image. It's not gonna go anywhere And that's about it. So now we're gonna show you how we mix these things together Okay, so once you've got the chemicals mixed, what exactly are you going to need to actually develop the film? Um, good news there is it's pretty much the same equipment that you're gonna need for a black and white film. Namely, first things first, Patterson tank or Patterson style tank. Comes with a spool, a little agitator, which I can't find right now, a lid, and it comes with these, uh, these reels. Personally, I like these, these with the little teeth on them. Um, they have actually larger teeth than the ones that come with. Um, maybe it's just because I'm just not very good at loading film, but I find that it becomes a lot easier when you have these. Um, so top to that. Can't hurt to invest in a mask. Um, I got these uh, really cheap for probably like three or four bucks from your local hardware store. Spoon's good for mixing. Spoon's good for mixing chemicals. Film squeegee. Some people don't like using them. Personally, I always get water spots if I don't use them, so I like using it. A reliable thermometer. Very, very important because you're gonna be mixing, um, you're gonna be developing at a higher temperature than you would black and white film. It's 102 degrees and it has to be exact. Um, otherwise, you're gonna get some weird um, effects. I mean, it's, if you're like 0.5 or whatever, off is not gonna to matter too much, but you really wanna be as exact as possible, so I definitely recommend getting a photographic thermometer. Graduated cylinder, I got a cheapo plastic one, it works fine. Um, it's really great for measuring out. Um, for instance, this tank is for doing um, up to, I believe, two, up to two rolls of uh, 35 millimeter film, or just one roll of 120, but, when you shoot more 120, like I do, you use a larger tank, and a larger tank, um, you're gonna need a thousand milliliters of solution. So you wanna, wanna be able to easily measure how much developer, how much Blix you're pouring out at a time. Important, changing bag. 
you guys are going to be loading your film in complete darkness, you need a bag to do this with. Or if you have a light tight room and you have to be really, really, really certain that it's light tight. Um, I got this one at first for about like 20, 30 bucks. Um, and uh, it's served me well. It's really good for small tanks um, when you're only doing one or two rolls at a time. But eventually when I uh, decided that I wanted to do more than one roll at a time, I upgraded to this bad boy. This gives me a lot more room. You're gonna find that it gets really, really, really cramped inside of the changing bag. Um, and it just becomes, you, it's really hard to keep track of things and whatnot. I find that having more room is better. Um, so as far as the actual developing time goes, or development goes, it's all really, really simple. It's just three and a half minutes of developer. It's gonna be uh, six and a half minutes of blicks. There's even instructions in here on um, pushing your film. So if you wanna try something like that. Um, very, very, very simple. The techniques are all the same as black and white film. Um, so if you have questions about the technique itself, there are plenty of YouTube videos about that. Um, but just follow the instructions and you're gonna be good to go. And definitely there are YouTube videos on black and white um, development as well that will help you out. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And that's about it.